Hello, hello, friends. Welcome. I think I have everything. Uh, I think I have everything updated here. We'll see. We'll let some folks get in here, and um, I'm really, really excited to share some drone flutes today. Uh, I have a. How many drone flutes are in my collection? Let's see. I didn't do this before, so let's find out. One, two, three, four. I have four here. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. There's one hanging out in the corner. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. About a dozen. If you're tuning in live, let us know where you're tuning in from. Um, I'm waiting for some comments to show up just to make sure this thing is live and working before I start to uh, show you some of these drone flutes. So if you're in the live chat, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna make one adjustment here. There we go. All right. I don't think my comments are coming through. So give me just a second. I'm gonna try something out over here. No comments. Where's everybody at? Are you guys there? All right, we'll get into it. I'm sure it's going. All right. Okay, so first off, I'm going to start with um, just kind of a standard drone. There we go. Brent's here. Good. This thing is working, live and kicking. So give me just a second. I'm going to grab a flute, a drone flute. All right, so one of the flutes, let's turn the music down. There we go. It's nice to have, uh, it's nice to have some technology. Uh, it's better when you know how to use it, which <laughs> I uh, sometimes struggle a little bit with, but we learn as we go and we grow as we go. So uh, the first flute that I wanna show you is kind of our standard drone flute. Uh, some people call this a, uh, a shotgun style or side by side. You can see here it's got two barrels. Uh, this one is made by JP Gomez. Now they're coming in. All right, very good. I got the comments large on the screen so I can actually see them today. So um, the, the thing about um, this style flute is it's two barrels in the same piece of wood. So um, we have two, uh, two bores. Okay, one side of the flute has playing holes um, and it has two different blocks. I prefer, my preference is a, um, is a flute that has um, two blocks on it or a drone flute that has two blocks on it. And this just helps fine tune a little bit. Uh, two mouthpieces. Uh, this one's kind of close together. Uh, the two uh, the small holes here, the embouchure holes, are a little... Um, close together and that can cause some, uh, when we play singly, uh, sometimes I get a little whistle. Maybe that'll come out today and I'll, I'll address that. Uh, but this flute's uh, made from Walnut, JP Gomez of Heart Song Flutes. He makes really beautiful flutes, good tone to them. So let's start here. It's in the key of F, not F sharp, but straight up F. Hi everyone. I'll just go through the comments here now that we've, we've got some folks on here. Ah, oh, perfect. We've got Brent, Jan, Joel, Connie, Audrey, Judith, Denise, hi Denise, uh, Tommy, from Scotland, wow, Chicago, uh, Tim, Sherry, Canada, Jan, Orlando. Nice. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's fun to do this stuff. So um, I do have my reverb pedal, so I'm going to be using it. I love to hear the reverb on the flutes. So let's see what we get here.
single. So this is, uh, I was getting a little whistle when I play it singly. Can you hear that little sound? So I've got to move my lips a little bit more and kind of even push them further down onto the flute. And uh, it helps close up that um, closure. A um, couple of questions. Wow, hi, uh, more folks in the room or on the live stream, the room. I'm used to doing stuff in Zoom, uh, the Zoom rooms. I had, uh, uh, let's see, oh, Suzanne from Germany. Hi, Jean. Hi, Rick. Missed you in Fort Walton. Yes, I didn't see you there. It would have been nice to, uh, to see you. Greetings. Wow, people from all over. Um, do you know if Michael Graham Allen ever made any drones? You know, I don't know the answer to that because I'll have to check on that and get back to you. I don't know that he ever made drones. Maybe he experimented with some. I know he really liked making a lot of stuff out of PVC to prototype things, but um, I don't know that I ever saw a finished, um, a finished drone flute. John Norris would know. All right, so next I'm going to, can I play Orange Dragonflies? I'll do another online concert and play um, and play Orange Dragonflies soon. Um, I've been wanting to do another online concert. So Rick, I will play Orange Dragonflies for you. I want to schedule an online concert. Um, and all of you are invited, everyone. So let's look at a different flute. Um, this is kind of the same thing, but this is an over-under drone. Uh, this was made by uh, Ron Stutz. Uh, of Native Sunrise Flutes. We carry his flutes on our website and we'll be adding these uh, tomorrow. So if you want more information on these, they're made out of Western Cedar. We'll be offering them in four different keys, A, G, F sharp, and E. Um, it has two mouthpieces. Um, the right side, I played this one in the last live stream. The, the right side plays the flute. So my right um, embouchure hole here plays the right side. Um, or on the right side plays the top flute, and the one on the left plays the, the drone. Now there's some leather straps down here, and those are for um, opening up holes. I like drone flutes that have um, holes on the other side, or on the drone side, I should say, because it just gives a little bit of variety. So you're not stuck on one drone note. You can open it up like this and you have, um, you can play with the major scale there. You can play your fourth, you can play your fifth. So you have an option when it comes to uh, what sound you like. Typically I'll play Amazing Grace um, with the fourth harmony here. Um, so might I do that now?
playing. Um, I also play Amazing Grace. You may have seen the video on YouTube. Um, I did it on uh, this flute here, which is a triple. And we'll talk about that in a little while. When I do, um, or when I have done kids programs at libraries and schools, when I've gone in and shared the flute and the flute music, I always put that flute in the very front, in front of the microphone stand, and they're all gathered on the floor or they're in the, the, the bleachers or whatever. And I can see them whispering to their friends, look at that, look at that. And I'll pretend to like reach for that one. And then I reach for a different flute or, uh, <laughs> and they all go, oh, when I pick up a different flute. So I usually take my smallest, my largest and my triple flute when I do programming like that. And it's always fun to see the kids interact with uh, the different the different flutes and uh, get excited by them. So um, again, this uh, Native Sunrise, this is called an over under um, because we have one over and one under. Um, and so we're gonna carry these. Um, they're all this design, they're all made out of Western cedar, which, you know, for, for drone flutes, something to consider, um, which the, the JP Gomez flute here, um, when you get a uh, heavier wood, um, it, it adds to the weight of the flute. So if you get a wood like walnut, it's got these big wooden carvings on it, it can be a little heavy. Um, so, you know, looking at something like this, it's more, this one actually is lighter than the one that I just showed you, even though it looks bigger. And that's because of the wood. So the Western Cedar smells really good and um, is lightweight as well. A uh, thing about lightweight woods is they may ding a little um, easier. So, you know, the little love taps and dings on your flute, you'll get more of those on a soft wood flute rather than a hard wood flute just because of the material. Let's move on. Um, I love seeing you guys here. Uh, we've got a, a nice crowd uh, today. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you. Um, and if you're on, if you're tuning in on Facebook, uh, please go ahead and do something. Go ahead and hit share. Share this to your page, to your group, wherever you think this would fit. Um, or maybe not fit. Maybe maybe you're the weird flute person in your group of friends, and <laughs> I have been for many years. Um, luckily, though, I've got... I'm going to save that one. Luckily, I've got friends who are also weird flute people. I see you guys in the room. <laughs> Um, actually, no, I want to go to one other one before I go here. So we've gone from the side by side to the um, over under. Now I want you to look at this one. This is another side by side, a little bit smaller flute, key of A. Miguel Medina of Singing Tree Flutes made this one. And this one has one hole on the drone side. Uh, so this is an alternating drone. So when I open up this, this plays two notes now. it'll play um, the root and the fifth. So it's a fifth um, alternating fifth drone flute. So again, two mouthpieces, two different blocks, two bores, uh, one set of playing holes and then alternating notes. So here we go.
It's a little sample of the alternating drone. This one's a little difficult for me to play. I really, for me, I wish that pinky hole were a little further. Uh, for me, it just kind of misses the mark right there. I don't really have long pinkies. I have incredibly short thumbs. And I don't have very long pinkies, but it's enough to where I feel kind of like I got to crimp my hand a certain way just so I can get that hole. So um, maybe I'll talk to Miguel about moving that down just a little bit. So that's an alternating drone. And I know, um, so let's move over to Harmony drones. These are the yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I know when we did this broadcast, uh, I said, let's hear some yummy flute tones, right? Some yummy flute sounds. And that's what drones are for me. Some people, some people love them. Some people don't like them at all. I love them personally. I think they add a lot of texture to music. They don't fit in all music. Um, and one of the reasons why they don't fit in all music is because of that drone note. So it depends on the scale that we're playing. That drone note is either going to help or it's going to hinder the overall experience of the music. So you want to make sure whatever mode you're playing in, whatever music you're playing to, that the drone really fits in. Which, by the way, we'll be offering a full course on drone flutes, but today I just wanted to kind of go through my collection and show you guys some flutes. Um, I've got some strategies around playing drone flutes and all sorts of things with breath control, structure, etc., etc. Um, harmony drones. So here we're going to go with another flute uh, from Miguel Medina. This is um, an E and a B. So there's really two kinds of um, harmony drone flutes. I'm not talking about scales, but there's a fourth and a fifth harmony drone. And fourth harmony drones, I've got one of those that I'm going to play for you and show you. Um, there's some more notes that don't really, just a little more contrasting is all. The fifth harmony drones are easier to play. They're more harmonic. Um, they're more uh, harmonious, I should say. So what we have here on some um, harmony drone flutes, you'll find there is usually, uh, they look a lot like this, meaning that there's one longer and one shorter flute. It's a side-by-side -side model. I haven't seen any over-under harmony drone flutes. Uh, I typically see them this way. Uh, two mouthpieces, two birds, um, two sound holes, two barrels. Um, on my right side, it plays the lower. On my left, it plays um, the higher flute. And, and what these are, um, so this is just like the bottom three holes of a regular flute, an E flute. Okay, so that plays the same scale. Now over here, these are the bottom three holes of a B flute. Okay, not the top flute, not the top notes of an E flute, but the bottom half of a B flute. And then this is where it gets a little tricky. Some harmony drone flutes have thumb holes in the back. Some do not. Some only have one. Some have two. But none have three. We only have two thumbs. I hope not anyway. <laughs> so and, and that is the six, um, the six flat of the scale. So it plays. OK, and that's like that on both sides, just a different key. So let's have some fun with that. Uh, this one is made from black limba. It's got a the smell, the odor. You know, when Miguel makes the flutes, he burns the holes in it, makes it smells, makes it smell really, really nice. And uh, some of that fades in time. There's some. Sorry, I'm one of those two. Here we go.
fifth harmony drone we have dogs in the house so if you see um, i saw one walk by and they like to bark and let us know that there's somebody or something out there we know this but they think we need to know in a bigger way so little puppy dogs all right so now this one i did a flute review i've done a flute review on most of these flutes um this is a um, this is another Harmony drone flute. It looks a little bit different. Um, you see it's kind of shaven on the side here to maintain the integrity of the, of the flute here. Um, and this one is a fourth Harmony. So the, the lower flute is an A and the, the higher flute is a D. Um, so when we go from A to D, it's only four notes between those. So again, operates the same way bottom three holes of an A flute, bottom three holes of a D flute, and the same uh, thumb holes in the back like that one. But the intervals between these singly are the same, but the harmonics between them are different because they're a fourth apart, not a fifth. I won't jump down that road here. Um, it just means my note choices have to be a little, um, a little more... Um, I have to be smarter with my choices and not as liberal. So I love this flute. This is my big drone flute. Um, and I think it's on YouTube. We have a, a flute review of it, the massive Mayan Harmony drone flute. Here we go. I did a recording with this one on migration and with the harmony drone flute i have a i have new work that i'm working on uh, an album supposed to be released in august uh we'll see it's uh i i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give you any hints or anything because i don't want to put myself on the line there but um i'll be working with the harmony drone in that album um and this one i recorded on migration uh, which came out in 2019 uh, on a song called Hunt of the Nighthawk. And it's just this really, really cool song. Uh, check it out on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Amazon, all the places you can find it. Okay, now a flute that I have not done a flute review on. I really haven't shown off at all. So um, this is kind of a special thing for today. And I wanted to share that now. At least I don't think I have. This one, if you thought the last one was big, look at this puppy. Wow, this is incredible. Um, this is an Aeolian drone made um, uh, by Brad Young. I think it's made from sassafras. Um, the lower one, okay, the lower one is an F sharp. 
and then the smaller one, which is not really small, but the smaller one is a B, B as in boy. Um, so we've got some harmony going on here, and this thing is so cool. I'm recording with this one too on my new project. Um, I don't even know how big this thing is. Actually, I have a tape measure right here. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna turn the flute over. I'm gonna do one of these. How long is this flute? Oh my gosh, 38 inches. Uh, a puppy, yeah, this is a puppy. Um, 38 inches long on this flute, big boy. Big, big boy. And sometimes when I'm standing and playing drone flutes, I, I have to kick out my, my knee a little bit and I kind of rest the, the drone flute there. Um, whether the end of the flute can get above my kneecap or not, I add a little tension uh, by pulling it closer. And, and that has... Um, and that helps me kind of move about. And also the thing about these big drone flutes, um, anyone who wears jewelry, I'm actually gonna take my ring off. I am uh, very well happily married, but I'm gonna take my ring off to play this because like when I play Rab Bast or Djembe or something, uh, removing jewelry, otherwise you hear the clicking of hardware. So um, we're gonna take that off for just a second here. And I'm gonna give you a little sound sample of this bad boy. still awake <laughs> uh, just a um, lovely lovely sound so some of these flutes are going to be on that next album um, as well um, if you have any questions oh I said I would uh, I'd bring this guy up too so this will be the last one that I show you today. Um, this one is much like the drones that we've been talking about. So um, it's a triple flute. I don't think High Spirits makes these anymore. A couple of flute makers are making triple flutes. Um, they're few and far between. Um, Dana Ross is one. Uh, Brent Haynes. Will, I saw you with one. Um, Edwin? 
Is that the right name? Um, I've seen a few of these triple flutes around. Um, I like this design uh, and, and some of the over under because sometimes it's hard to reach um, you know, reach over that drone side, like on those bigger, uh, bigger flutes, it can be kind of a stretch to go over that other flute. Um, the only thing about these A-frame type things is sometimes we hit the other flute by coming under like this or through. When we come through the flute like this, it can be like this one, I feel like I'm cramped over here. See that cramping that happens? Uh, so, uh, so this one has three of everything. We have three flutes that have different uh, number of holes, three mouthpieces, so I can control whether I want this drone, that drone, or just a single. Uh, the main melody flute is here in the middle, six holes. I uh, have a regular drone, no holes. Okay, so that'll play a root and an octave, an A and an A. And this one over here will play um, like on the first flute or the second flute, the over under. Um, it plays, this is an A flute as well, and so it'll play an A, C, D, E, so we can get those notes out of there too. So uh, for this one, I am going to um, set it up, and well, I'll just play it like this. So one of the, the benefits actually to, to leaving this open like this is now we can play them like a harmony flute too. I don't want to play this one too much. I'm getting some crackle in my headphones, so I um, might have to investigate some audio stuff. That was made by High Spirits. Um, I've had that one for 10 plus years. I don't think they make those. They make the regular A-frame uh, drone flutes, but I don't think they make the triple flutes anymore. Um, so that's kind of a scratch the surface sound samples, looking at uh, some of these drone flutes. Like I said, we're, we're putting together a whole course on these because I get a lot of emails and questions about drone flutes. And guys, if you have any questions about uh, the, the drone flutes, you can pop them in the comments um, and we'll come by and scoop those up. I think we're streaming to a couple of different places. So uh, just be patient as we, uh, we get through these. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in. In today if you're on youtube or you're not on youtube you should be on youtube and you should please subscribe to the channel because we do stuff like this regularly uh live streams um music tutorials some tips things like that and um just really appreciate all the support um if you're looking to grow as a flute player I, you may have mentioned or heard me mention um tutorials and courses and things like that we have a whole teaching platform called Her Horizons, um, which I'd love to tell you more about. Uh, if you have any questions about Horizons, I am happy to answer those for you. Um, as a matter of fact, tonight we have a live Q&A for members of Horizons, and tomorrow we have a special event for them. And um, we have lots of courses and lesson modules that I do regularly in Q&A stuff. So um, appreciate it very much. Thanks for spending time with me. I am going to get off of here and get outside because the sun is shining and I want to be outside. So friends, thanks so much for tuning in and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.